to get going Gotta catch those runners taking off like a Boeing If the volume spikes, then it's time to trade Mighty 90 setting up, it's time to get paid Dr. Chad on the mic, time to get focused We don't need any indicator, hocus pocus It's all about the price, just watch it move Manage your risks so you don't lose First hour of trading is all we need Focus on the patience and forget about greed Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's day trading live stream. Today is Thursday, October 3rd. S&P down 15, NASDAQ down 90, Russell down 14, Dow down 147. Had some jobless claims this morning. Price is moving a little bit lower after that report. Gold and silver pretty flat, notes and bonds red, 10-year yield up almost 1%, oil up 2.5%, natty gas up 2.5%, all the grains are red, euro is flat, pound is down 1%, Bitcoin slightly green, VIX approaching 20, sitting at 19.93 at the freeze, up about 3.5% from yesterday's close. Good morning all, Ken. JG, who else we got here? Casey, IH, JAB, MNS, Mike Smith, Sesha. Welcome, everyone. So let's see. SPX expected move for the day, looking at about a little over 33. NDX, about 121 and a half. Uh, as soon as the, between the, uh, after the bell rings for the first few minutes, I've got a couple things to take care of. I've got a couple double calendars. I think I'm going to leave those on a little bit later. My one, two, and my three, four. Uh, I do need to... Just check on my bots firing, make sure my AM iron condor and my 1DTE go on okay. But we'll be ready to roll once anything starts shaping up on the individual stocks. On the main board that you guys see, I've got Apple, Amazon, Baba, Coin, Meta, Netflix, Nvidia, and Tesla. On my other monitor, I'm also looking at, and these are all interchangeable, but I've currently got AMD, Baidu, BA, Roku, Google, Microsoft, MU, and CrowdStrike. As always, let me know if you all see some volume or some price action forming that makes sense to look at. Opening bell in 40 seconds. And here we go. Beautiful sound of the opening bell. Go ahead and mark my charts for my expected move here. While things are opening up.
As I mentioned, we had some jobless claims this morning. Everything came in pretty much as expected. Markets moved a little bit lower. Of course, tomorrow, the big jobs report. Got some things firing here. Got my one DTE and my AM zero DTE. All good there. My double calendars are both a little bit red, but it's Wednesday, so I'm going to give them a little bit more time. They're both pretty centered. Just IV has not cooperated, but I'll give those some time. So, all right. On the individual stock side, NVIDIA, biggest green, up two and a quarter. AMD is also green, SMCI green, all the MU is green, all the chips are green, Roku slightly green. Crowd strikes slightly red. Apple is red. Chinese stocks finally taking a pullback. Baidu down four and a half. Baba down almost three. PDD down two over two. Amazon down one and a half. Netflix down one. Google down a little over half percent. Meta down a half percent. Tesla down a little bit. Tesla trying to go green. Netflix trading below yesterday's lows. Meta a little bit above yesterday's lows. Amazon, a little flush lower and bouncing. S&P bouncing, NASDAQ bouncing. Got about 20 seconds left on our first five minute bar. Today is Thursday, so we'll be trading the one DTE options. Be looking at strikes right around the money. VIX popped up to 20 and then retreated back under. AMD pushing, Tesla pushing.
NVIDIA was pushing, now it's pulling back. Same with MU. Apple still pushing. SPX pulling back a little bit. So NVIDIA and MU pulling back, but AMD still charging upwards. We are about halfway through our second five-minute bar. Not seeing a lot of volume come in. on any one stock. Tesla trying to stay green. AMD heading for yesterday's highs. Microsoft breaking down through yesterday's lows. Yeah, I'm going to hold my 1-2 and my 3-4 Dark Avenger. They test well to hold longer on the Wednesday entries. And, you know, it's down a little bit, well within range, just volatility hasn't cooperated. So I'm going to hold both of those a little bit longer. Getting near the end of our second five minute bar, not seeing any volume bars. SPX pulling back down near the lows of its first five minute bar, but NDX. Staying a little bit stronger. Tesla back in the red. All right, no volume, so we wait. Microsoft still heading lower. Why would I go long AMD just because it's up? There's got to be a reason. Can't just look at a chart and say, oh, it's 
it moved up, I'm going to get long. What's your line in the sand? What's your reason for entry? SPX came down to the bottom of its five minute bar, trying to bounce. NDX still pushing highs of day, highs of its range. NVIDIA dipped and bounced. CrowdStrike dipped and bounced, pushing above yesterday's highs. So like CrowdStrike, I'll put on the I'll put on the board you guys can see here. You know, it's pushing above yesterday's highs. So if we, you know, pull back to that area, I would consider that an early kind of continuation runner. That's my line in the sand. Or if we start kind of chopping above it, looking for another leg up potentially. Now AMD is pushed above yesterday's high, so you could kind of take a similar approach there if it if it pulls back. Tesla tried to go green again, getting pushed back down. Coinbase tried to go green. The crowd strike kind of flushed yesterday's highs and came right back down. Almost looks like a stop hunt. <clears throat> AMD's still pushing. NVIDIA bouncing with some volume. Coinbase getting a little higher volume on this push. MU pushing with some volume. AMD and MU. Let's see, we've got and we're coming to the end. Oh, their volume bars aren't going to quite get there. But chips are strong. Coinbase had a little bit higher volume. So you could have maybe considered that a little bit of a mighty 90, but it's just it's not much of a not much of a separation and not too much of a push. I would call that a C plus setup for Mighty 90. Maybe a B minus. Yeah, so MU volume bar basically got there. It's giving a little bit of a pullback. So then it really comes down to 
you know, if it keeps coming down, where's your, where's your exit point? I mean, you could use right here, kind of the top of that first red bar. I'm going to give it a little bit of time here. S&P coming through lows of day, NASDAQ near highs of day. Tesla bouncing back up, going green. So if MU comes back down a little bit more, I'm going to take along an MU. I'd be doing the 101 calls in MU. One oh one calls in MU trying to get filled at a buck thirty. How about a buck thirty two? Filled at a dollar thirty five in MU on the 101 calls. So I'll set my first profit target at a buck 50. Bounces here. Tesla tried to go green again, got pushed down. Keeps trying, keeps getting rejected. Meta is trying to go green. MU needs to bounce just a little bit more. Filled an MU at a buck fifty. Sorry guys, I forgot you didn't have MU on my screen. Not that you're not that you should be using my screen anyway, but all right, so I've I got out of some MU. I'll put my next profit target in MU at, I'd like it to get out right at the top of its range here. Let's try, let's say a buck 65. That might be a little too high, but I'll leave it there for now. AMD pulling back, NVIDIA, little pullback. Oh, yeah, BA's got a nice mighty 90. Didn't even see that. BA. 152 half calls. Trying to get filled at 123. 
Filled at 123 in Boeing. For mighty 90 long. Let me put BA on my other board here. Let's take away Coinbase. Doesn't look like it has much going on. So I position side in Boeing to potentially add if we do flush a little bit lower. I was thinking about adding back in and MU when it came back down, but I'll just leave what I've got. Now that I've got Boeing. I'm going to put my profit target in Boeing at a buck 30. Wow, filled. That's not what I wanted. That was a little too light. Bad math on my part. <laughs> I got ahead of part of my Boeing. Darn it. it in at a buck 40. Well, we'll see if Boeing comes down a little bit more. I'll add. And you trying to bounce back up. Got my next profit target in MU at a buck sixty-five. It's at a buck sixty-two. Filled at a buck sixty-five. All right, so now I've got a little runner left in MU that I'll let ride. See if that thing really wants to rip. AMD pushing back up. Nvidia still near highs of day. SPX trying to bounce off of its lows. NDX pushing through highs. Tech be strong. Tesla, you're going to make another attempt to go green. I really want a short Tesla here, but I don't really have any. I mean, if it gets back up to unchanged. Could use high highs of day as my line night line in the sand. It's just, I mean, it's not giving me any kind of volume setup. It would just be more of a this thing keeps getting rejected type price action. But maybe that could also rip through. So well, there goes Boeing. Kind of messed that up. I booked a small, small win so far. I'm just waiting for, wait for two green bars to exit the rest. Microsoft, which was looking weak, is now pushing through highs of day. Went green. Meta it went green. Apple is trying to go green a little bit below. Tesla approaching unchanged again. 
If it gets rejected again, I'm going short. I would trade the 247 half puts in Tesla. Am you rocking? Keep on rocking. See what Tesla does here. It's got a few minutes left on this bar. Just does not want to stay green. Keeps dipping its toe in green and pushing back into red. All right, I'm getting short Tesla. 247 half puts filled at 340. So I'll use this current bars high as my line in the sand. If it starts pushing back up there, I'll, I'll get out. If you're new here, this is not one of our normal day trading setups, but it's just, uh, just keeps getting rejected. Does not want to stay green. Boeing trying to get two green bars together. Close some Tesla at 380. It pushes down a little bit more. All the chips still pushing. All right. This Boeing bar's got one minute left. Tesla filled at 380. All right, got our two green bars in Boeing. Got about 40 seconds left. I'll give it a little bit more. Meta getting a little bit higher volume on this push. I'll take some more Tesla off at 4.15. I probably would have gotten filled if I had that order in. All right, so Boeing... Not really a second green bar, but you could consider bailing here. Got to add more Tesla at 415. So I'm going to go ahead and close my Boeing on this bounce. Trying to get out of buck 39. Ah, may have missed it. Mm. All right, I'm just going to get out. Filled at $1.31 to close the rest of my Boeing. So that was an $88 winner because of my little order mess up. Most of you all should have been able to book more than that. MU still holding a three lot. Run, baby, run. It's 
see the last order in MU I got out at 165. I'll try to get out of another one at 190. Tesla, I've still got one lot left, short. MU, filled at 190. So I've got two contracts left in MU. I've got one left in Tesla. Microsoft, big push. Google, big push. AMD, all green. I want to see Tesla at lows of day. Man, S&P just went green. NASDAQ threw its expected move almost up to highs of yesterday. Boeing took off, if anyone still has any. Got stopped on one side of my Bix on that push. All right, what else we got? I don't see any Mighty 90 shorts on that. I guess you could look potentially meta, but it's not great. Goog had a little bit of a volume pop on that push. Still got another minute left. I guess this meta may shape up to be a mighty 90. Look at MU go. I guess we'll take another MU off at 2.05. If it wants it, come get it. Filled at 205. All right. So I got one MU left. Tesla not participating in this big rally, which is nice. What a push. SPX was just kind of dwindling around and just rocket fuel led by the chips. I'd like to see MU hold above yesterday's high. I don't want to give, I mean, I've only got one contract left, but I don't want to give much back. But I don't want to get rid of it yet in case it's got more juice.
So meta, you definitely could have taken short meta mighty 90 here. It's just, you know, you get kind of the last few bars are just kind of gradually increasing volume instead of just one like spike. So I'm going to, I passed, but. Tesla trying to go green again. This market's strong. But Tesla has not wanted to go green. I'm going to get some more puts in Tesla here. It's getting rejected again. Same 247 half. Filled at 330. Again, if it, if it pushes up, I'm just going to cut it, but It is having struggles. And if this market actually cools down for a minute, pulls back, Tesla may go to lows of day. Meta, a little red bar off that mighty 90. Got an order at 370 to close some Tesla if it drops. <clears throat> And I've got my finger on the trigger to exit if it bounces above the high of this current bar. The only other thing I've got, I've still got a one lot in MU on that runner. CrowdStrike pushing. CrowdStrike's got a volume bar bigger than the first. I get a little bit cautious when I see gradually increasing volume and then a spike like that. That could signify a little bit of exhaustion, but it's also a legitimate upside volume bar if you get a pullback for entry. AMD had another big volume bar. Tesla getting close to my profit target. Hit it. There you go, 370. Double dipped in Tesla. A 
I'll close another Tesla at 405. I've got three left. I'd like to get out at one at the uh, this recent low and then hold the other two to potentially get to lows of day. MU pulling back under yesterday's high a little bit. Idea, a little pullback. AMD, little pullback. We got peace in the Middle East, or what's going on here? I'm not sure I'm buying this rally. I'm going to bail on my last MU. Filled at 192. Okay, here comes some red. Yeah, that upside volume runner in CrowdStrike would have been no bueno. Chad putting in a nice day. AMD, Boeing, MU. Filled in Tesla at 405. Here comes the red, kids. Hope you got out of your lungs. Still got a couple short Tesla, a couple Tesla puts. S and P back in the red. Nasdaq at unchanged. Big volume bar in CrowdStrike to the downside. Well... Those mighty 90 shorts across the board would have worked. Google, Meta. MU, kind of. So the question was, uh, just a little fake flush more highs or was that initial move a fake head fake to the upside and going lower i think we're going lower just my crystal ball nothing don't take anything from it just like when krish says anything don't take anything from it right krish <laughs> mm. i mean it wouldn't be a live stream without a little jab at krish
Tesla still holding a couple. Didn't I was hoping on something like that we'd get down to lows of day. Decent bounce. Yeah, I don't uh I don't see anything I'm really interested in getting in. Just gonna hold my remaining Tesla. Nvidia still coming down. AMD still coming down. S and P could not stay green. Nasdaq still slightly green. Russell's down a half percent. Dow down a third of a percent. S and P. Just in green, uh, red territory. All right, all. I'm going to sign off here. I've got a two lot of le uh, Tesla puts left that I'm going to hold. See if we can get some more downside. But other than that, don't see anything else that I plan to enter. So I will. Uh, I'll post my my final P and L once I get out of these Tesla puts. Otherwise. Yep, I got out of MU when it cracked below yesterday's high fast. Um, all right, all. Have a good day. For those of you zero DTEers, I will see you in Power Hour. Take care.